Hello, my name is Dr. Yong. I'm the lead researcher and marketing strategist for this team. I'm Kong, the hardware and also the graphic designer. And I'm Patrick, the software programmer for the robot. This is CR2 Haptic, which is one of the rehabilitation robots of CR2 that can be used to train for wrist and forearm movement training. By changing with different handles, we can train for different kinds of training movement. For the past three years, we are focusing on the research and developments of the rehabilitation robot. Therefore, this year, we want to take this innovation to the next level. We aim to commercialize this robot so that we can benefit the stroke patient. This robot provides three training modes which are active, assistive and passive mode. In active mode, the robot can improve the muscle functions of the patient by increasing the resistance according to their recovery rate. While in assistive mode, the robot will help the patient to move if they can only move in a small range of motion. In passive mode, the robot will help to move the patient who cannot move at all. motivates the patient to train because the robot is able to provide different virtual reality games for the patient to play while they are training. With a tele-monitoring system, the therapist can easily monitor the progress of the patient through internet. Okay, I think it's a good, good device okay, for showing app. Okay, uh, the patient is able to use this without um, you know, the therapist being there all the time. And we really want it in NASA and we hope that we can get this equipment because so far we don't have any of this type of robotic equipment in NASA. To me, that, that is very good because by doing that, rising to the challenge, I am actually improving my wrist movement and my grip because without the wrist, without the grip, I cannot catch the raindrop. This is a very good project. Uh, we have tried it. I have tried it, and my therapists have tried it. And I would say yes. I would want the public to to support it in whatever means, either purchasing, either donation, in whatever means to endorse it and to support it as well, because it actually will go back to helping the stroke community of Malaysia. I think it's a very very interesting system and it's like very attractive and uh, if for me as a person who do not uh, who does not have any deficit finding it very interesting also and it's very simple and I think it will appeal to a lot of patients I'm very, very sure that it will be a popular uh, mode of exercise for the patients with stroke. It's very useful for the stroke patient. Well done. CR2 Haptic, awesome. We have a ready product now. It has been tested with physiotherapy and patients. They like it very much. In fact, we also reduced the price of 5000 to just a mere 30000 ringgit Malaysia. But they still can't afford it. Therefore, in this magic kitchen, we want to make a difference for them. And you can make the change by just supporting the pledges that we have. If we reach our target, we have sufficient funds to build a CR2 robot for a stroke rehabilitation centre. CR2, support us!